What up YouTube? I wanted to do a quick overview of my smoker. Let me show you guys what I got going on here. This is the Dynaglo wide body. If you guys have watched some of my other videos, you guys probably know I upgraded from the smaller version of this. I used that one a lot and I really, really liked it. So I went with this one to give me a little more um, grill space. Sold the other one because there was really nothing wrong with it aside for size. The thing I like about these vertical offsets is they give you the benefit of both. And I'll show you. You see, I got some mileage on this bad boy. And the advantage is you get a ton of grill space because it's a vertical, but you get the nice even or the nice low temperatures from it being an offset. That firebox can get real hot. And the verticals that have the fire directly underneath you, you know, you're, it's always, always having an issue with the, the temperature control in my, in my experience, unless they're really, really tall. I love this guy. Um, I'm gonna look it up and see exactly what I paid for this. I've had this thing for a couple of years now. I'm gonna go over the modifications that I made for this. First mod I made on these shelves, these are all adjustable. You just pop these things out. There's little holes in the side they lock into and that's where your racks go. That allows you to adjust all these racks. One of the mods that I made was to drill holes in here. One, so I had more options in the height, and two, so I could get way up top here. The reason why I have it way up top here is because I use this when I'm hanging beef jerky. You'll see up at the top, one of the features this guy does have, which I think is, let me get this shelf out of the way. One of the features this guy comes with is these hooks at the top for hanging stuff. Now there's not a lot of them, and it's just a circle right here in the middle, but it is a good idea if you wanna hang something in here to, to, to smoke, because you could take these shelves out and then you can just, you know, hang it on here if it's got a hook on the top. I added the extra holes so that I could get the racks really, really far up. I mean, this, this top one here was not existing. I think this was the first one. The reason I did that was because I use this when I'm putting the rods in for smoking beef jerky. I put it all the way to the top, and then I hang all my beef jerky from there. It allows me to hang a, lay, hang a layer of beef jerky here and the layer of beef jerky down here um, so I could smoke twice as much as I could before. Comes with this rack, and I, I'm pretty sure this was actually designed to be the other way around, to be a rib rack. I don't use it as a rib rack. I use it. I used to hold my water pan. I just got one of these from Walmart. I replace them as need be, fill this guy up with water or about halfway up with water. It adds the moisture to the cook that you want when you're smoking. It also helps to keep an even temperature when you open and close this door because this, the water acts like a heat sink. It'll get to the temperature of the smoker and then it'll just kind of radiate that heat with inside the smoker. Another mod I made was this deflector panel. This is just a piece of sheet metal, and when I put this thing together, the screws that connect this, this firebox, I just drilled them out and connected it there, and I just cut this, and all this does is deflect flames, because when this firebox really gets kicking, flames would, would be coming out of this top hole here, and I didn't want the flames to actually be, you know, cooking this, so this is just a little deflector here, which makes so the flames will never actually really start shooting up in here and cooking. They just kind of flow in this way and it pushes the heat out here a little bit more. I didn't make it real big. I, it was actually larger before and I cut it back because when I did my um, my test to check the heat through all, the, out, all these areas, when I had this thing kicking out, I think I had it kicking out to about here before I cut it back. It was actually making a, a cold spot right above the heat baffle because it was pushing the heat right here. The heat was basically coming up the middle and this side and kind of rolling past. And right here, believe it or not, was a little cold spot right next to the firebox. You saw the previous one, I added a gasket. On this one, it comes with a gasket, which is nice because it already comes from the factory with this oven gasket installed which helps to seal the smoke chamber. Go to the top here, it's got this little chimney. This thing never actually really closes. Um, anybody who knows about smoking, you always want this top chimney wide bore anyway. You manage your temperature with this anyway and uh, most of the time I have this thing almost all the way closed. I go wide bore to get it started but this thing holds a good amount of charcoal and a good amount of wood. I use charcoal, I use lump charcoal and wood for smoke. It comes with an ashtray that sits below everything. And then it comes with this already.
ready. You don't have to make a basket, a charcoal basket. It comes with one of these charcoal baskets. This little slide in and out grill has these little hooks to keep the basket in the middle. But this whole thing is, that's all it is. It comes right out in case you got to do anything with this. You got to move it around or if you want to put, if you want to take this basket out and cook just with wood logs, I've seen people do that as well. Another modification that you want to make on this that is critical and don't ask me why. Same issue with the other version. The, the rails that hold that grill do not cover the top. So this thing, if you can picture it, when it's sitting on the rails, it's just sitting on the bottom of the rails. When you pull this out to try and add charcoal to it, the whole thing just dumps. It is a the one huge design flaw. I never figured out why. It's an easy fix you see from here to there. All I did was just weld a piece of metal to extend the tab. I did it on both sides. You can see it over here as well. I just weld a piece of metal to the underside of that rail and it just it makes it so that when I'm cooking and I pull this thing out to add more charcoal, I can pull it all the way out to the edge and it won't dump because it's hooked in on each of those sides because of that little extra lip. It just seems really weird that they would design it so that it would, you know, this tray would dump as you pull it out. That's a critical mod. I would definitely do that one. It's really nicely done. It's got latches on the door. It's got these nice locking latches right here that give you good pressure. And it's got one down here on the bottom to, to keep the smoke chamber door sealed. I know what you guys are thinking. You're thinking, why is the firebox so nice and pretty and black and the rest is not? This stuff, okay? I've had this smoker for a couple of years. I bought a can of this VHT flame proof. This is for exhaust, um, super high temperature black, flat black paint. Any place that started to rust, I just hit it with that. Right here on the handle, these latches, and I just finished hitting the firebox and then I ran out. The thing I noticed is one, it keeps it from rusting and it gives it a nice matte black finish so it matches this. Originally this was matte black as well. It just faded over time. The reason why I recommend using this stuff is because you'll see this is the original paint. Smoke chamber doesn't rust that much on the outside. The firebox does. These handles do. The hinges do. Um, and you'll notice this is where I hit this hinge I think last season to get to cover up the rust and at the time it all matched black. The original paint fades. This paint that I spray on the handles, this is old or at least older, this is you know a season old, still holds that nice black color. So I just hit this firebox I, I need to get some more stuff in here, but I just hit this firebox with the high temperature paint just to, to cover up the rust, and then I ran out. But what I am gonna do is I'm gonna mask off the uh, temperature gauge, I'm gonna mask off the little Dynaglow too. Actually, I might not mask that off, I don't care. But I'm gonna mask off the temperature gauge, and I'm gonna hit this all with this flat, with this, um, flat black high temperature paint. I had it sprayed the chimney as well, and it just holds up a lot better than the original factory paint. I'm gonna repaint this whole thing once I get another can. That way it'll look good as new. Something you're really gonna to wanna to do after you've seasoned this smoker and got it ready to use, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and hit that like and subscribe. It helps my channel, it helps me keep making these videos, it bumps me up in the ratings. Thank you guys for watching, I hope this was helpful for you guys, and uh, definitely pick one of these things up, because I highly recommend it. Till I make a brick smoker, this thing has been killing it.